Also want to bring in CBS's Janet Shamlian. She joins us now from Detroit, and she's been speaking with voters all day. And Janet, what are you hearing? Nora, good evening. First, let me set the scene for you. We are at Ford Field in Detroit. This is a vote collection center, and it's very busy right now. 16 electoral votes at stake. As we know, this state had the slimmest margin of victory for President Trump in 2016, less than 11,000 votes. Now, we just heard an update from the Secretary of State, and what she is telling us is that her prediction, her original prediction that all votes would be counted by November 6 is now not outdated, that they will now have all votes counted within the next 24 hours. And we're also learning a uh, critical piece of information that 92 percent of the absentee ballots requested have been returned. Now, that breaks well for Biden because it's believed that the majority of mail-in ballots were Democratic voters. The Republicans were counting on turnout today here in Michigan. And we're hearing that there were lines, but not the long lines that some had predicted. So what happens now? As, you, as I said, the votes are coming in here. We're expecting to hear sometime tonight or tomorrow, but it will not be a Thursday or Friday event. Everybody is watching Macomb County here. That's a blue collar county here in the Detroit area. And it is a bellwether, really. It went for uh, Obama in 2012 for Trump in 2016, and then it voted for the Democratic governor, Gretchen Whitmer, in 2018. So we'll have to see what Macomb County does. The other county to watch is Kent County, and that is in West Michigan, a conservative community. Both parties going after the African-American vote here. Senator Kamala Harris was here today. Her last two stops of the 2020 campaign were here in the Detroit area. I just want to underline that point real quickly, that reporting that you had, the Secretary of State is telling you what about when they expect the full vote to be counted? So they originally predicted Thursday or Friday to have everything counted. Now they are saying that they've had so few problems, they expect to have all ballots counted, day of and absentee ballots in the next 24 hours, tomorrow at this time or earlier. Janet Shamlian, really interesting. Uh, we should remember, Michigan is the state that Trump won by the slimmest right. of all margins, just 10,000 votes. It is the same state that President uh, Obama and former Vice President Joe Biden made their first joint appearance together in order to drive up the vote there, particularly in Detroit. So interesting to hear that new deadline to have when the votes will be counted by. When she started the, the sentence, I thought she was going to say the delay is longer, not shorter. Yeah. So that's right, really good yeah, news.